There is no difference between communism and socialism, except in the means of achieving the same ultimate end. Communism proposes to enslave men by force, socialism by vote. It is merely the difference between murder and suicide. A businessman cannot force you to buy his product. If he makes a mistake, he suffers the consequences. If he fails, he takes the loss. If bureaucrat makes a mistake, you suffer the consequences. If he fails, he passes the loss on to you. When you see that trading is done, not by consent, but by compulsion, when you see that in order to produce, you need to obtain permission from men who produce nothing, when you see that money is flowing to those who deal, not in goods, but in favors, when you see that men get richer by graft and by pull than by work, and your laws don't protect you against them, but protect them against you, when you see corruption being rewarded and honesty becoming a self-sacrifice, you may know that your society is doomed. We are fast approaching the stage of the ultimate inversion, the stage where the government is free to do anything it pleases, while the citizens may act only by permission, which is the stage of the darkest periods of human history, the stage of rule by brute force. Inflation is not caused by the actions of private citizens, but by the government, by an artificial expansion of the money supply required to support deficit spending. No private embezzlers or bank robbers in history have ever plundered people's savings on a scale comparable to the plunder perpetrated by the fiscal policies of statist governments. We can evade reality, but we cannot evade the consequences of evading reality. The smallest minority on earth is the individual. Those who deny individual rights cannot claim to be defenders of minorities. Do not keep silent when your own ideas and values are being attacked. If a dictatorship ever comes to this country, it will be by the fault of those who keep silent. We are still free enough to speak. Do we have time? No one can tell. The government was set to protect man from criminals and the constitution was written to protect man from the government. The Bill of Rights was not directed at private citizens, but against the government as an explicit declaration that individual rights supersede any public or social power. When you see corruption being rewarded and honesty becoming a self-sacrifice, you may know that your society is doomed. The difference between a welfare state and a totalitarian state is a matter of time. The man who does not value himself, cannot value anything or anyone. The majority of those who are loosely identified by the term liberals are afraid to let themselves discover that what they advocate is statism. They want to keep all the advantages and effects of capitalism, while destroying the cause, and they want to establish statism without its necessary effects. They do not want to know or to admit that they are the champions of dictatorship and slavery. Socialism is the doctrine that man has no right to exist for his own sake, that his life and his work do not belong to him, but belong to society, that the only justification of his existence is his service to society, and that society may dispose of him in any way it pleases for the sake of whatever it deems to be its own tribal, collective good. The uncontested absurdities of today are the accepted slogans of tomorrow. They come to be accepted by degrees, by dint of constant pressure on one side and constant retreat on the other until one day when they are suddenly declared to be the country's official ideology. The man who speaks to you of sacrifice, speaks of slaves and masters. And intends to be the master. The question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. The only power any government has is the power to crack down on criminals. Well, when there aren't enough criminals, one makes them. One declares so many things to be a crime that it becomes impossible for men to live without breaking laws. The hardest thing to explain is the glaringly evident which everybody had decided not to see. If you don't know, the thing to do is not to get scared, but to learn. You can ignore reality, 
but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. The government was set to protect man from criminals, and the constitution was written to protect man from the government. Whoever claims the right to redistribute the wealth produced by others is claiming the right to treat human beings as chattel. If the truth shall kill them, let them die. I guard my treasures, my thoughts, my will, my freedom. And the greatest of these is freedom. The truth is not for all men, but only for those who seek it. Every government interference in the economy consists of giving an unearned benefit, extorted by force, to some men at the expense of others. An irresponsible person is a person who makes vague promises, then breaks his word, blames it on circumstances and expects other people to forgive it. A creative man is motivated by the desire to achieve, not by the desire to beat others. Individual rights are not subject to a public vote, a majority has no right to vote away the rights of a minority. Since there is no such entity as the public, since the public is merely a number of individuals, the idea that the public interest supersedes private interests and rights can have but one meaning, that the interests and rights of some individuals take precedence over the interests and rights of others. Statism needs war, a free country does not. Statism survives by looting, a free country survives by producing. Freedom, to ask nothing, to expect nothing, to depend on nothing. Potentially, a government is the most dangerous threat to man's rights, it holds a legal monopoly on the use of physical force against legally disarmed victims. If a society is to be free, its government has to be controlled. We are born into this world unarmed, our mind is our only weapon. Man's basic vice, the source of all his evils, is the act of unfocusing his mind, the suspension of his consciousness, which is not blindness, but the refusal to see, not ignorance, but the refusal to know. The uncontested absurdities of today are the accepted slogans of tomorrow. Capitalism has been called a system of greed, yet it is the system that raised the standard of living of its poorest citizens to heights no collectivist system has ever begun to equal, and no tribal gang can conceive of. Learn to value yourself, which means fight for your happiness. Without property rights, no other rights are possible. Don't ever give up what you want in life. The struggle is worth it. America's abundance was created not by public sacrifices to the common good, but by the productive genius of free men who pursued their own personal interests and the making of their own private fortunes. They did not starve the people to pay for America's industrialization. They gave the people better jobs, higher wages, and cheaper goods with every new machine they invented, with every scientific discovery or technological advance and thus the whole country was moving forward and profiting, not suffering, every step of the way. One loses everything when one loses one's sense of humor. Great men can't be ruled. Defiance, not obedience, is the American's answer to overbearing authority. If you surrender everything to the government and give it total power to plan the whole economy, this will not guarantee your economic security, but it will guarantee the descent of the entire nation to a level of miserable poverty as the practical results of every totalitarian economy, communist or fascist, have demonstrated. The end does not justify the means. No one's rights can be secured by the violation of the rights of others. Do you know the hallmark of the second rater? It's resentment of another man's achievement. Government help to business is just as disastrous as government persecution. 
the only way a government can be of service to national prosperity is by keeping its hands off. Mediocrity doesn't mean average intelligence, it means an average intelligence that resents and envies its betters. There are two sides to every issue, one side is right and the other is wrong, but the middle is always evil. A society that robs an individual of the product of his effort is not strictly speaking a society, but a mob held together by institutionalized gang violence. An honest man is one who knows that he can't consume more than he has produced. Love should be treated like a business deal, but every business deal has its own terms and its own currency. And in love, the currency is virtue. You love people not for what you do for them or what they do for you. You love them for the values, the virtues, which they have achieved in their own character. I am not morally obligated to care more for a man than he cares for himself. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.